Greetings and titillations. Today we've got a fine one. We've got the Whistler, an Irish whiskey. Yeah. Up by Meath County. County Meath. County Meath. Drogheda in County Meath. What he said. Yeah. Which you <laughs> used to have a lot of distilleries in it. Uh, 17. At one point, 17 wow. distilleries were operating in and around Drogheda, County Meath. But... Uh, with everything That's falling a lot of up. distilleries. Yeah, everything fell apart for the Irish there. Yeah. Uh, after the trade embargo with Britain and the Civil War and the, the I'm assuming they didn't drink everything that they made. I'm assuming some of this <laughs> got out to other countries. Maybe that's why they fell apart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. But essentially, <laughs> the whiskey industry in the area fell apart. for, And now, Bowen Distillery or Bowen Distillery, nice. is uh, back. Back with the Whistler. So they actually have three products right now. They have the Whistler Double Oak, which is their triple distilled whiskey. They have the Whistler Honey, which is a honey, basically like a honey whiskey liqueur. And they have uh, the Whistler Irish Cream. Uh, and we got the Double Oak. We got the Double Oak. So the thing is, they do have... A master distiller, don't remember his name right now, but he's like the youngest master distiller ever. Ever. Basically, yeah, he's 29 years old. He's like a year older than me. Um, but I don't believe they distilled this themselves because nowhere on the bottle does it say distilled at mm. Bowen. It's uh, probably, this is probably sourced as their first product and then they're waiting to oh, get some sure. other stuff. Oh, the real stuff. Yeah. yeah. They make. Uh -huh. um, but they did take some fine bourbon aged whiskeys, bourbon cask aged whiskeys, put them into sherry for finishing, I believe for a six month period. Okay, so yeah. yeah. Bourbon cask and then a sherry cask and we got a nice good color mm. in this, looks wonderful. Yeah, and I mean bourbon to sherry is always, yeah, that's always, the classic. The classic winner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless they're going rum, in which case. Hey. Rum, is, rum is pretty dang good. Too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you think? I'm catching a whiff of green. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, like it's uh, not not underage per se, but it's just it smells young. A little young. A little young. Again, I don't believe there's an age statement on this, so we don't know how old the whiskeys in here are. I hate that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it is nice. See, I am not one for fetishizing age statements. Okay. And and I like I like non-age statement releases. That said, it's always nice to have more information on the label. Oh, sure. So oh, with the CD that comes with yeah, it. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. So that you know, you know on what day this happened and yeah. that happened and yeah. which hour and who did it. And, so, uh, yeah. But, yeah we'll, we'll see what we got here. Yeah. I do get those sherry notes, though. It's not a bit that really heavy sherry. I'm just getting like a mm. whiff of chocolate, a little bit of raisin, a little bit of sulfur. Mm, a little bit of sulfur. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe a little bit of that kind of Christmas cakey kind of thing. Just a fruit cake. Fruit cake, I might go with. Not too sweet though. No, no, no. This no. is a, this Ooh. is a, this is drier smelling. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is blended. I'm pretty sure. Yep, malt, malted grain. No pot still in this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little, little bit of a mixed bag on this one. Yes, it's not as good as I would have thought. Yeah. It is, I mean, it is flavorful. Flavorful. That that opening is... You get that sherry. It hits you get, it for a bit, and then it just washes out. And, yeah. It's not a whole lot there. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, they they advertise this as deep and full bodied, and I mean it's deeper, more full bodied than a lot of other blends we've had Irish blends oh, sure. recently, especially like the lower bottom shelf ones. But it does kind of doesn't have a whole lot of staying power. It's it kind of hits you. Little red fruit, maltiness, toffee, and, and it just goes away. Yeah, <laughs> I get a little, a little bit lingering toffee, but it's it's not like that really robust finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a there's a little there, it's a little there, raw. There a, a little yes, it's a little raw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's 
nothing wonderful about this. Mm -hmm. There's nothing really horrible about mm -hmm. it. It is well, okay. Oh, hey, there is an H statement at the bottom. Hey, okay. in the very, in the very tiny letters okay. in the corner, aged over three years. Okay. Legal limit for Irish whiskey. Three years. That explains. One minute. <laughs> yeah, that explains it. That explains it, right? It's probably got some pretty young grain whiskey in there, or young malt. I mean, it could be young malt too. Or is it this? Well, three years. Three years in mm -hmm. Ireland's climate, though, that's not that long. No. That's true. So it's not picking up all the tangerines and all the flavors and the right. tannins and the esters yeah. and fun stuff that make whiskey. great whiskey. Right. Great. Especially if they're using, I mean, they're using, we know they're using used bourbon, right. used sherry. We don't know how many times that's been refilled. Right. I mean, hopefully it hasn't been too many times refilled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. They don't say it's first fill sherry. Usually, usually if it's first fill sherry, though, I would say they're gonna let you know it's yeah, first yeah, fill yeah. sherry. <laughs> I did something special and wonderful. I would definitely yeah. advertise it. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, so this I think it could use a little bit more wood interaction. Right. Yeah, I would go with that. That for is sure. probably true. But you know what? It's snowing like a song done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I shoveled this morning, it's still snowing, it's going to snow till midnight, so I got a bottle of Irish whiskey. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> for a first outing, a sourced whiskey, first outing, you're trying to get something out the door, sure. make it as nice as you can, this is not bad. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. The real test is going to be more when... You've got to bring, bring out their full. You got to bring out the the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because um, I mean, unless unless they somehow managed to get this distilled, I don't think they did. Pretty sure it's sourced. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to keep an eye on them. See how they grow, right? Okay. As a distillery, next few years. Because I really, I really want. I feel bad bad mouthing any Irish distillery. Like, and don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be honest about your stuff. I'm gonna tell you if it sucks. <laughs> But I want Irish distilleries to do well so they can make more Irish whiskey. Like I want the I want this renaissance to continue. Sure. Um, it's just that I think we're gonna have to give some of these smaller distillers more time to kind of get everything together. I think that's true about all the yeah. young distillers. Yeah, like the same with the craft distilling here in America. There's right. some guys who are still doing pretty well with it and some are Finding their footing. Yeah, let's put it that They're way. They're finding their footing, <laughs> is what it is. Yeah, they're ending up scraping their chins and falling down. <laughs> Just dragging their face across the gravel. <laughs> but they'll get there. They're getting there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, anyway. but until next time, hey. this has been the Rocker Review. It has. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, we've missed you. I've missed you. He's, been, he's been, been away. It's been a while. Yeah, well, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, no, that's my fault. I was working the only day we could have shot. <laughs> yeah. So Erica, Erica and me did all the shooting. But anyway, it's fun, wonderful to be back. So yes, son, thank you. Thank you, Dad. And until next time, hey, stay, stay rotten. rotten.